Hello students. So this video we are going to see uh, the suspended problem. A solid suspended problem. Uh, look at we can look at the question. Uh, a pentagonal pyramid. A pentagonal pyramid of side. So look at here. This is pentagonal pyramid. So a pentagonal pyramid. So here this thing we have to notice. It is a base will be a pentagon in shape and it is a pyramid. Pyramid means the base will be a bottom one where face for bottom face will be the pentagonal face and the top will be having the apex and side base 30 mm this is a dimension and axis height is 70 mm so this is a dimension is being given so next is is long is freely suspended from a corner of the base from the corner of the base draw the projection by change of position method already we are studying the change of position method the same method we have to do it so this is a freely suspended problem so first of all we have to understand what is the freely suspended problem if this is the pyramid pentagonal pyramid we can assume actually this is a hexagonal pyramid this is a pentagonal if we are going to assume means here it is said one of the base corner which one is the base corner here we are having six corners for a pentagonal pyramid we'll, we will have five corners so any one of the corner we are going to tie with a rope and we are just going to hang it just we are going to hang it up so it will be hanging like this it will be hanging like this in this way it will be hanging okay so here the mass center so every object will be having a mass center in it right so for a pyramid the mass center will be from the base it is 1 by 4 and from the apex it will be 3 by 4 if it is a prism if it is a prism like this means it will be at the half middle so 1 by 2 it will be so the middle center axis at the axis 1 by 2 the mass center will be having right so here a line drawn from the mass center to the tied up corner to the tied up corner will be perpendicular so this is the concept here so here we can see how we are going to proceed so first of all we can find out the normal diagram so the normal diagram will be like this so which one is so here we need to tie with a corner so corner has to be here so either here or this side, this side or this side, we can select any one of the side. I am going to select in this side means uh, for a pentagon, opposite side always will be a line, edge. So now we can connect it like this with the engineering template. So since this is a pentagon, we are going to join it this. So A, B, C, D, E. I am going to join all the uh, edges. So this is a... a, a from the apex, it is a center line, axis line. So we can connect it to this. This is O dash, this is A dash, uh, B dash, C dash, again D dash, then E dash. So this is option. So this is a normal diagram. So we can leave it as it is. Next, from this corner, this A we are going to select and this A we are going to tie up. Right. So this will be the A. So from here, we are going to identify the M point M here. I told if, if it is a pyramid or a cone means we have to divide it by four sections. Already the height is 70 mm. 70 mm. So 70 divided by 4 will be um 17.5. 70, 70 divided by 4 will be 17.5. So from the base, 17.5 height. So here we can measure this as M dash. We can note it as this is m dash the height will be 17.5 right so here a line has to be drawn connect with this the a and m just connect gently connect this a and m this line you can measure this length by using the compass and you can draw a perpendicular line like this and here this is a1 dash and this is m1 dash we can notice this then what you are going to do we are going to measure this line okay and we are going to mark it at here then we are going to measure this line then we are going to mark it at here here somewhere it will be next we are going to measure this one and we can mark it at here then we are going to measure this one so from here you can mark it this will be at here now after connecting we will be getting the same pyramid here 
So this is the axis line and this is the another one edge line and this will be the e, uh, c dash and d dash and this is d dash e dash and this is axis line this is o dash since this is hanging now we can have all the projection lines all the perpendicular and horizontal lines we can find out easily like this so where which one will be the coinciding points which one is where the a is this is a and this is B, C, D, again E. E will be here and this is O. Now, already I told to connect all the outer edges gently. Then while seeing from the top, we can able to see the bottom face. So we can also connect it. Now we can also join this. So the solid is here now. This will be the hidden like this. So this is the solid. So we can draw it in our paper. So first, we need to draw the XY line like this, a short XY line, because we need, don't need a lengthy one here, that's a required. So a short XY line, this is VP and this is HP and I had already told a edge will be here means, the, sorry a corner will be here means the edge will be at the opposite side, we can select this point. This is the perpendicular line. Now the base dimension is 30 mm. So here we can mark 30 mm here and then by using the engineering template we can mark The 30 mm here and also the center line. Now we can easily connect it. Also give the name O, A, B, C, D, E. Now I will draw the projection lines. Since this is 70 mm, axis height is so I just drawn. Now we can also connect it. These lines. And this also. Okay. Next here give the name O dash. And this is A dash. B dash. C dash. Within bracket D dash. And this is within bracket E dash. I already told why the D and E are within bracket is by seeing from this side we cannot we cannot be able to see the D and E only we can able to see A B C and O the behind the one we cannot able to see so so we have drawn like this and next one I'm just going to measure 70 divided by 4 it is 17.5 so this is the part this is I am going to mark this as M dash and I am going to join these two as already we discussed. Okay, and this also we can able to join. Okay, now I am going to draw a perpendicular line here. So how we can measure the perpendicular line is just we can draw a so the measurement we don't know. So we can just extend the line like this and the starting point is A1 dash and the end point M we need to find that is 
by measuring by this way, we can market this is M. Now, this is M dash. So, up to this, we can market. We got it now. Next, I am just going to measure this length. Look at here where this will be falling on. So that we have to assume it. Next, from M dash to this C dash. From this M dash to this C dash, I am just going to mark it. And next, from this C dash to O dash. From this C dash to O dash. Next A dash to O dash. This is the point. Now I can join all the edges. So now the in between points that is from the A, I am just going to measure this B from the A, I am just going to mark it the same dimension here. This is B. Now I can join this one also. And through this M, I can able to connect to the bottom. That will be the axis line. Now this is A dash and this is B1 dash and this is C1 dash again b1 dash then e1 dash this is o1 dash so we got all the points now i can get all the projection lines i can just project it downwards Then horizontally, I can do it. Now we can identify the coinciding points where the A is, this is the A. Here the A is here. So now this is A1. Now this will be O1. Where the B is, so this is B1 and C1, B1, again E1. Now I can join all the outer edges gently. Okay, I have joined all the outer edges and after that we need to decide while seeing from the top this way, while seeing from the top this side, can we able to see the bottom face? Yes, we can. So, I can join like this. Now I can able to see this OA line. Look at here, this, this is a OA line. This also I can able to see it. Whether I can able to see this OD and OC, this is at the bottom, so we cannot able to see. So I can join it through the daughter line. So I can join it through the daughter line. So this is our diagram projection. So here also we can make the dimensioning. So this is Taking, drawing a parallel line to this right from the diagram 
So next, this is thirty, and here. First, we can make this seventeen point five. Seventeen point five. Again, for here it is seventy. Seventy mm. Also, we can write it as all dimensions are in mm here in this area. So now this is your time. Thank you.